Okay, we trade one. Playing for level two, we match autos. If I queue the wave, I can't queue her, which is kind of a sad thing. She queued the wave. Lose one minion. Get favorable damage. Bait, queue, max range. She goes for caster, and we get free queue. Her queue comes up. She looks for queue. When I go for last hit, I move forward. I trade. We back up, play for CS. We hit level two. If we spam, right click this melee, and then we look for a QE. We walk forward while level one, so she doesn't get the idea. Back up. E in 11. She just queued. Six second cooldown. I find Q. I back up. Wave is slow pushing. It's a cartus. Don't need to worry about a gank until three minutes. She's got no QW. If she goes for melee, we look for auto QE. We place ward bot side of mid since Karthus has to start blue buff if he's playing a real champion. She looks for melee, we look. I'm going to use my elixir as well for the extra money. Fortunately, QE misses there. Uh, if we don't touch the wave, it will bounce back, but I don't know if I actually want to play for no prio. Just depends what happens down here. Might not even matter. Arthas is bottom. Free Q. I'm going to stay outside of the W range now. Wave will slow push back since it's clumped up like this, so we can either play between her and the wave, or we can bait Q. No W. She can't access wave. Play for Q instead of a QE. She goes for melee. At this point, she's forced to recall on TP. Because if she stays here, she just dies. And I don't know if she's willing to do that. But once again, wave is slow pushing towards us. Um, if she's recalling close to her tower, she's just bricking it right now for no reason. I am able to stop it. Right, change of plans. We're hard pushing wave. This might give me enough for a item difference. She's going to teleport back anyways, and she can't really catch this and freeze it. Okay, reset, buy items. We're going to full send it on all the itemization, and we'll teleport back so we can catch it on the freeze. We have a 7 CS lead. At this point, playing for splinters because the wave's slow pushing towards me. Again, free damage. She's tier, which means that she's either rushing Seraphs or she's playing for Seraph second. I don't know if that's a good idea from her. Okay, so the goal here is I could definitely clear this whole wave and then look for a level 6 all-in. I just don't know if it's going to happen the way I want it to. Okay, they get grubs. I know I'm getting ganked from below potentially, so I'm going to place a ward for now. And if I want to kill her here, I have to use this existing ball. She's dead. We use the adaptive potion, and we also use the extra ball by picking up with W to reset the timer. And since she has no TP, she should just go ahead and lose this whole wave here. Wave isn't perfect, but I want to just tempo my reset anyways. Yeah, there's no way I'm pathing for Seraphs anymore. I'm going straight Ludens here, or I can just go for Storm Surge right now. Actually, no vision on Ori, so I have no clue. An 
Since we have no way of face checking her, we're just gonna go and hard push and force to come back that way. She definitely has prior since we killed her first. Yeah, I could technically look for Karthus at red. JK. For one splinter off from upgrade. Oh, that was bad. I get splinter upgrade off killing cannon, so that's kind of what I'm looking for. Bot lane slow pushing, I'm looking. The free roam, pretty much. We're gonna put our Q down and pick it up. Okay, nice double stun. Unfortunately, they had sums. I'm going to lose probably a plate here. Slay. So I lose 125, but we generate 700 gold, 800 gold. Pretty close to getting our next elixir as well. Wasn't even trying to dodge, that was a complete accident on that one. I'm gonna stand behind this wall. She might have this warded, I just don't know. She's got me beat, guys. Never mind. I'm shocked she's not building Merc Treads. She's also very greedy with her itemization, I suppose. Now that I think about it, I'm so far ahead that maybe that's why it seems that way. Terrible timing on that one. I just gotta recall before the cart this ult goes through. Oh, that sucks. There it is, the Merc Treads, though. Fucking... The Mercs are too powerful, bro. Wait, it says I... ...haven't died. What the fuck? That's crazy, dude. <laughs> Imagine not dying there. Okay, he's on grubs again. We know this for sure. I can't really contest it, can I? I could yellow it. Imagine if I stole one like that, that would have been nice. Damn. They got six scrubs this game. That's the thing, when you're playing against so many Merc Treads, they face tank your combo, and you can't actually find the WQ after the QE. And of course, if she just ults me, I die if there's any other player here. Technically, you could argue it's not random kills, because the play initiated from me tower diving and 1v3 on her tower. 
they I guess my team could have walked away. No ult. Is this the first gank top that I've seen? Oh my. I cannot believe she didn't ult there, bro. Ori, get your head in the game. If I were you, I would have pulled the trigger right there. You've cart this ult, remember? Oh, fuck. I got nothing. I TP back. Honestly, that's a dub. That is a massive dub for us. I'll gladly take that. I think I fucked up in itemization right there, though. I could have probably ended up buying my Ludens before I TP'd in. The shield on Kalissa was the Renata E. Or the Renata W before she died. Uh, I think Cinder loses the way, realistically. Bumba. We got four different angles cut off. I guess we could just Pantheon ult here if we had it. Not looking good for us over here. Fortunately for us, there's like no items on the enemy. Their bot lane has no items. All right, I'll go match top. We're gonna get Rift Child here, but the only way we actually hemorrhage is if. Hey, okay, well, I should have just ran mid if I knew you were gonna. Oh well. Sucks. Our lane allocation's so bad right now. Malig. I'm playing for Splinter here, I don't actually want to fight. Fuck, that E would have connected if she didn't flash. Great re-engage. Just gotta make sure I dodge that. At this point, I'm just gonna go keep clearing topside since this play mid's already over by the time I get there. We just wanna make sure we get it as close to our storm surge as possible. Uh oh. Just a little overzealous, guys. Probably swap this 
What is it? Scrying Orb. Our mage is looking like in Season 14. OP, broken. OP, OP, OP. Trust. Okay. Enemy bot lanes cracked out of their minds. <laughs> Probably force mid tower here. Get that juicy money. Saving our ultimate just in case we need it. I do think the money's better on me than Varus, but. Give me Splinter Boy. I have to assume that this is worded, probably. Yeah. They're actually kind of tanky. Ooh, what a terrible WQ for me. Jeez, guys. Ouch. Alright, I've got Storm Surge now. I'll just reset for that. I might have to sell port mid here. Jeez. What a champ. My god. Somebody put a muzzle on her, my lord. My CS. Don't ask. We'll just continue sieging side lane. Uh oh. He's kind of the only option when we're farming two side waves this far out. Bit of an interesting one. Let's see if I don't get spotted by vision here. You're dead. Fine. Wow. It flash. There's absolutely no way we beat a rally in this wave, so we're just gonna walk away. Ow. Played. I have no way to get to that fight, so let's just hope that they win. They're winning. Great. Good job. We'll play for tier 2 tower. We have four death timers. Arthas is showing mid lane. I don't really need to run to this because 600 gold is more than 300, so I'll just stay here. Continue to get our bread. We're really close to 120 Splinters as well, which is great. So I can shift in the mid here just so it can be close to my teammates, but it's probably better for me to go spend my 3,000 gold that I have. But think about what I could buy if I got another wave and another tower. It's so juicy. Yeah, this red buff is looking real meaty, brother. Hey. 
I have E and 2. I don't know if it's enough, but... At this point, it's better for me to reset since I have no HP. Play for Baron. I TP. Oh, well, it looks like we're re-engaging. Very brutal engage on that one. We're looking really <laughs> offensive on this one, friends. We can definitely force a tower at least. She should be zoned out of the fight now. Just brute force it. I mean, this is definitely winning. Range diff. You know what? They're so squishy that I can get away with... You know what? Never mind. I was going to go Shadow Flame just because I had enough money, but I can actually just go straight Rabbit Ons here after that kill. Great pickup, guys. Here it is. Full, full Rab. 700 AP at 23 minutes. Looking good. Could have buy a Mejai as well. We're about to get Soul, though, so the game's looking a little bit juicy, my friends. Can't wait to go to the grocery store after this. Can't wait to lose half my health. 600 from that. F. Where's the honey fruit at? None. A little bit dangerous for me to be here, but... That's a storm sir. What? I didn't think ult was necessary. That's my ban. I mean, she's forced out anyways. At this point, we just play for Baron. Thankfully, we've red buff passive regen. We just heal so much. Goodbye, Carthus. Thanks for the storm surge money. I'm going to go all the way around, though. In fact, I'm going to go look for mid lane since they're not going to expect this angle. Lightest. Cranky. Look at that damage. Oh yeah, we should probably get the tower, guys. Oh, it's still defensive disabled. First time on the stream, so hi chat. It was low play last season, but this season I want to main Syndra. Do you got some tips for laning phase to play safe? Honestly, man, you just got to make sure your your windows are really short and sweet. Syndra's all about really, really tight combos. There's no room for error. It's just straight up, you land QE into a WQ instant. No hesitation, or you back up if you miss. And you gotta look for the right windows, which is just basically when they're looking for last hits, or they have no spells because they're using it to farm wave. This game is a very good example of that. You can go back and watch the first three minutes. Every single time she was missing Q, I looked for trades. Did she need that for an item, or am I crazy? Often, like, I'll do VOD reviews, and I watch a Cinder miss QE, and then they keep moving forward for the W, and it's just like, stop. The moment you miss the QE, the trade was done. That's over. Just back up. Nice. Currently 800 AP. 
I think I could just flash roll and kill somebody at this rate. <laughs> I clamped, so I have cast set max range enabled, so when I flash queued, it literally queued in place. But that was literally nothing but ult that killed her. Wait, what is that giant circle? GG. Hey guys, if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Hopefully this is the Masters game.